become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Now in this tutorial, what we are going to see is a new feature which has been launched by PB Lead. Though it has been launched one or two versions back, but many people are not aware of the same. So that's the reason why we have decided to demonstrate that. What is that feature? How to add a weld line in a particular shell course. How to add a weld seam, what we can say, the longitudinal seams, what we are talking about, the L seams. The longitudinal seams, let's say, if this is a shell courses, right? So if these are the shell courses, then in every shell course, you will going to have a plate and you are going to roll it. And after that, you are going to do the welding along the length to, uh, to convert that plate into a cylinder. So for that, you will be having a longitudinal weld joint over here. And many a times it happens that the project requirement, the nozzle may foul with the weld line and that is needs to be avoided and since it was earlier not possible to model the l seams in in, uh, in this pv lead model so it was very difficult that need to be checked in the drawing stage so now this option is available how to do it first we have to click upon the shell for which we are going to add any l seam or longitudinal seam into the software so i have cl clicked upon the shell course what is that left channel shell then you can see longitudinal seam efficiency or circumferential seam efficiency this is about the weld efficiencies after that there are three dots we have to click on these three dots so once you are going to click upon this then you can see degree of round uh, this radiographic examination and pwst and after that the, uh, this new option has been attached so after that this new option has been attached so what is that option longitudinal weld seam data so if you would like to add a weld seam then you have to click upon this checkbox so once you are going to click upon this checkbox so this table will be appeared over here so whatever that left channel shell that will appear at the top you can give number of seams from here so it if the diameter is more and from one plate it is not possible to manufacture it then you will be using two plates and in that case there will be two l seams so if that case you have to click here as two since this is a small one can be managed with a one uh, seam then i can have one over here and how many number of seams you are going to have if you are having three then at what angles you would like to place them so these angles we have to mention over here so let us say the first one we would like to have at a degree of 10 so i'm clicking over here okay so you can see this is zero degree and this is 10 degree you can see the 10 degree will also appear over here so i have created i have created one l seam on this particular shell course isn't it now i am going to select this other shell course and again going to get into the longitudinal seam efficiency longitudinal weld seam data i have already clicked upon here so what is that shell course number one let us say we are going to have the shell course number one will also be at 10 degree so number of shell courses seems one number of seams are one and at 10 degree i would like to have that as well so you can see this is also 10 degree this is also 10 degree if you would like to have it at 0 degree that is also possible so you can have it as 0 degree so you can see this is at 10 degree this is at 0 degree let us now have a weld seam on the next shell course so i am clicking over here so this will be open one and let us have it at 45 so you can see at 45 degree the other weld seam is there and let's say for this i am again going to have it at zero degree so how to do it click over here 
number of teams one and the degree let's say is zero so you can see over here so i have added number of weld seams so if you would like to have one more weld seam over here let's say i am going to use the rotate option so you can see there is only one weld seam over here isn't it so if you would like to have another weld seam let's say opposite to this then what needs to be done you just have to click upon this then go into this weld seams already has been checked number of weld seams are two the first one is at 10 degree and let's say the other one is at 180 degrees so let us check whether the other weld seam has been created or not so if i'm going to turn it around you can see one more weld seam has been created so this is going to help you if you would like to avoid the weld seams with the attachments or the nozzles sometimes there will be rf pads so those may foul and there are some project specification which does not want the weld seams to be foul so this can easily be modeled and can give us an idea about whether it is fouling with the components or not i hope this must have helped you in understanding this new feature of adding the weld seams